and uh, bait digging or beach combing as our local paper seems to think. Amazingly, you can have a paper in a coastal town with no knowledge of the sea. We shall have a walk along and see how they're getting on and uh, see what's involved in digging ragwell. First thing you got to be. Just a little bit. How's it going? One of those sessions where the. Please. Not yet. Uh, not for a while. It's one of those sessions where all the love were with socially distancing. Yeah? Uh, what you're looking for with luck is looking for the worm casts on the sand. And there should be like a little hole here. That's the other end of the bubble. They'll be smaller than that one. You can't usually see the holes. There, there. But you can see the cuts. Realistically, be pulling two or three worms out of every forkful, shouldn't you? Keith, you should be getting two or three worms every time you put the fork in. We can see how deep you've got to get. It's no use digging where the car sand. I found you a good spot. You did, you have to stand on. The trouble is where there's water, yeah. Too much there as well. So just go straight back there.
the other thing here, you're not used to recording that yeah. voice. Yeah. When you get over towards where the steps are, which you can't come from underneath. So you've got you only got three bad things and then your holes are running. So it's also the whole of the bay is accessible. Whistling across the microphone, it's whistling across my ears.